Prince George's relationship with King Charles is about to change, and here's why. Hello, welcome to the Royal Daily Times, before we continue please subscribe to the channel for more British royal family news. As second in line to the throne, Prince George will need King Charles to guide him, as he carries out his royal duties. The relationship between King Charles and Prince George will need to change and adapt as the young royal grows up and takes his place as one of the senior working royals. When the monarch dies and Prince William becomes king, George will be the new Prince of Wales, a role Charles has held for many decades and knows better than most. Royal author Robert Jobson revealed the relationship between grandfather and grandson, saying hello. Magazine, it's a grandfathered relationship with George at the moment, but as he grows older, the king will take on that mentoring role, much as the late queen did with William. William developed a strong relationship with the late Queen Elizabeth while studying at Eton, often coming to see her at nearby Windsor Castle for weekend tea. George was Charles' first grandchild, and was naturally thrilled when William and Princess Kate's first child arrived in July 2013. When George was born, then Prince Charles began planting trees in his grandson's name at Balmoral, and the area is now poignantly named after Prince George. Wood after him. He also renovated the tree houses at his Gloucestershire home Highgrove, meaning George and his younger siblings, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, can now play where their father and uncle Prince Harry played. At the King's coronation, George was given the role of page of honour to his grandfather, along with Lord Oliver Cholmondeley, Master Nicholas Barclay, and Master Ralph Tolmash. His Majesty also spoke fondly of his other grandchildren, with Mr. Jobson saying he adores Prince Louis, and Princess Charlotte being named in his honour. In May 2015, when William and Kate welcomed their daughter, Charles said, I wish I had a granddaughter, someone to take care of me when I get old. The King has been spending time at Sandringham recuperating while receiving cancer treatment, but his grandchildren continue to provide him with much joy and entertainment. During the February half-term break, William and Kate took their family to Anmer Hall in Norfolk near the King's house, where they were able to cheer up their grandfather Wales. Mr Jobson added, the King will get a lot of positive energy from the little ones. He needs peace and quiet, but he will be very happy to see his grandchildren and spend time with them. It is unfortunate that Charles has not yet been able to build such a close relationship with his younger grandchildren Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet because they live far away in Montecito. But if Prince Harry reconciles with his father, hopefully his children will be able to get to know their extended family better, which would please the royal. Thanks for watching till the end, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates.